Hello guys, so it's my first nail video, so I decided to do a very simple design, as you can see, with the pink nail polish and some black and white paints and rhinestones, so uh, I will do just one nail to show you how I'm doing it. <laughs> basically what happened I've been filming in about 10 minutes how I applied my base coat and uh, the nail polish and I just looked at my phone <laughs> and then I thought I wasn't recording it so all of that 10 minutes which I've been doing <laughs> it's gone so I already applied the base coat which is this one from Essential Nails and I applied two coats of my um cafe pink color and it's nearly dried and I've been I actually showed all the tools which I will be using so it's a top coat and uh, uh, black acrylic paints and white acrylic paints um, dotting tool the small end and detailing brush and we will be using some rhinestones I have very nice set of rhinestones uh, which I bought from the pound shop so for a pound it's really not a bad set to be fair because you're getting so many different colors of the stones especially like a pink you have one two three three colors of pink then the purple red blue and gold green it's a really nice set so I would recommend it for not professionals you know if you don't want to spend lots of money on uh, accessories or something for your nails so this is a really good choice and it will last really long so I think I will carry on my nail I will check it it's still not proper dry so as I've been showing you before I will show you a couple of my nails which I done before so this is one of the designs which I've been practicing on for a couple of days. This design is from Kirsty Meekin. Uh, she's been working with essential nails before and they had the courses which I brought. So that design was from the nail courses. This one is as well. Uh, just in the courses she's been using the red nail polish. I decided to try it on the black. So it don't look too bad to be fair. And there is another one. Oh, this one is gorgeous as well. There is some daisies which I found on Facebook, I think. Uh, some gilded down ones and my mother-in-law is absolutely in love with them and she asked me to do it in her nails so I'm waiting till she will come and I can practice on her so the nail polish is nearly dry so we can start painting so there's my paint palette so I will take a small bit of black paint Dip them in the palette. You don't need much because you, you're doing just one nail, so really don't need much. I will clean my dotting tool. So, do your tight detailing brush, as you can see. And you will draw
Once you're happy with the design which you create, you can let it dry. To be fair, I'm kind of happy with the, how it looks like, so now it needs to dry. If you seen like any patches which the pink color comes through the black, just don't be afraid to use some more black paint. I'm happy with the design, how it looks like, so I will leave it, leave it to dry. I'll clean my detailing brush, I want the paint dry and the bristles. I don't want to buy a new detailing brush, I'm really happy with this one. I bought it probably from Pound Shop as well, so that's really comfortable. Really, really tiny one, I actually cut it a bit, so it's really really tiny as you can see really really tiny so you need to let the paints to dry properly it can't be any wet because when you put the white one on it will mix together so the white one settle and if you will top coat not dried paint you will just ruin all the sand which you created so the best thing to do is to let it dry properly. If the paint is a bit still shiny, it means that it's not dried. If it's gone matte, it's dry. So as I can see that it's almost all of it gone matte. So I will take some white paint. I will pop it on my palette. Then I'll clean my dotting too. Take my detailing brush and I will create very, very tiny, small white flower. Need some something to rest my finger. Once you're happy with the flower that you created, no, I'm pretty happy how it looks like. So I'll take my dots in till now and then do some dots. Now starting from the other side. So 
my castle need to do is to top coat it but some of the dots is still not proper dry because they're still a bit of shiny so it will have to let it dry and then you can top coat it and put the rhinestone on As I can see, the white paint is already dried, so we will top coat the, the design. Some rhinestone in the middle. There you go. Now let it dry, and all the design is done. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.